Freedom of the press is no proof of liberty. When a people are corrupted, the press may be made into an engine to complete their ruin. John Quincy Adams. I have uh, recently had a lot of questions. Um about the German prison story. And as some of you may know, the U.S. government is currently claiming, uh, let me know if you guys can hear me. Hey, Ram, Nicholas, how you guys doing? Uh, a little drop a comment in there, make sure everything. This is the first time I've streamed live on this platform with this gear, so let me know. Uh, but a lot of you guys, thank you, sir. A lot of you guys have... Um, well, okay, so there's some news articles out there that say conflicting things from what I'm telling you guys. And uh, I would like to show you guys some proof and some evidence right now that I was arrested and illegally detained in a German prison for 48 days by the U.S. government. So, hey, Robert, good to know you're hearing me on the other side of the world. Big Bird, John, LC Airsoft. Muchas gracias. Um, I'm actually about to start filming a video series on where to hide from an Interpol red notice tomorrow. But um, yeah, so that's going to be fun. OK, anyway, guys. The U.S. government um, is, is not admitting that I was arrested in a German prison and uh, arrest, arrested in Germany. A uh, huge Interpol um, joint task force uh, operation to, to take me down, tracking through several countries, all through um, South and Central America, well, Central America. Um, I was all through Spain and El Salvador. I was captured and, and detained and some crazy stuff happened in El Salvador. They let me go again, interrogated in Spain. Um, just a really brief interrogation there it was 23 hours in El Salvador then in Germany for 48 days just a really uh, a really nasty thing so um, you guys may be aware of you you've, I think everybody out there's heard of fake news right um, well I'm gonna give you guys an example of fake news how it's done um, I can't answer the why question I don't know why the US government is is feeding this information but for the first step of the process, my full name is Gregory Isaac Tambone, my full real name. I can actually operate under my real name now, which is uh, a relief, uh, believe it or not. But um, if you Google my name, you can find police reports. Support, no, you can find uh, news articles that say I was arrested in, U in Florida and transferred to Utah. Most of you know I was out of the States that entire time period. Um, the US government is, is for some reason unwilling to admit that they messed up, extradited me, all that stuff. So um, yes, it is, it's disinformation protocol. I don't know the why, but I'm gonna prove it to you guys right now that it happened. So first thing you need to do to figure out this 100% guaranteed proof is Google my name. You'll find an article and We'll get a little bit deeper into that now. What the interesting thing is, is that if you look at this, that entire scenario, it's all Utah based. OK, and I'm going to go and venture as far as to say that Utah is almost not even a state as far as it's not a state as far as other U.S. states are concerned. In a lot of ways, it's very like the third world countries that I'm used to dealing with. And the reason that is, is because there's no separation of church and state. What you have is a hierarchy of Mormons that all are in the same church, but they work as police officers. They work as judges. They work as prosecutors and public defenders. But they have all jobs that are supposed to be in the system of checks and balances of the United States of America and with our government system they're supposed to be counterbalancing and contradicting each other. They're supposed to be on opposite ends of the fence. In Utah, these people are all sort of part of the same Mormon cult hierarchy. 
So what you have is the ability to pay off with money or with political power certain people. You can get judges to sign warrants. You can get people put in jail. They have laws on the books in the state of Utah that are specifically for outsiders who come through to have to give the Mormon people. Um, yes. Case number states I was booked in the Manatee County Jail in Manatee County, Florida. I was never in Florida. How crazy is that? OK, this is a small chunk. I'm going to start doing videos going over all this stuff here with you guys. And, you know, and. If the government doesn't take me out first, then then you'll you'll see everything. And I also have live video, or this is a live video. I have and I'm going to tell you the editor that I spoke with Mormon guy who's at the newspaper who specifically told me, I know what. I know that these that our newspaper report is false. He specifically told me that he would take it down and then there's it's, it's still not OK. And it, and. When I after that, I'm going to show you a bunch of documents from Germany that prove that I was in a German prison. You can find the article and uh, your service and shooting charge from Florida military service. Uh, that there's a, there are some military service um, things going around, but those are false information. Also, there's a lot of information out there about me that's false and. The all of the uh, the different. Um, no, man, it was pretty terrible prison anyway. So that's the hierarchy of how fake news is made. Um, here is check that out, would you? Can you guys read that? U.S. Mission Germany. Information. For citizens of the United States of America imprisoned in the Federal Republic of Germany. OK. And I've actually got a video on auto post about the the conditions of German prison. And it was just absolutely insane. OK, guys, insane. I mean, pretty freaking terrible. But uh, I mean, as I guess you could imagine German prison pretty much doesn't really leave a lot to be desired. But um, but yeah, so the, the government's technically currently saying that um, that I'm uh, that um hold on a second i'll take it i'll take it later all right the german government is they're not participating the united states government is doing this cover up along with fake news uh with some um mormon owned uh newspapers that basically print anything uh so here is my this is my house ordung. It is basically the house rules for the German prison I was in. This is an Antrag. Okay, I wrote this Antrag trying to talk to the embassy. I still have the Antrag because they they gave me no zero contact with the outside world in forty eight days. Uh, solitary confinement for forty eight days. <laughs> pretty crappy. Okay, pretty crappy. Um, uh, not, not solitary confinement, actually. It was uh, confinement, confined to a cell for 48 days, but I wasn't by myself. Thank goodness. There were other people who were, um, yeah. So I wrote this trying to get a hold of the embassy and they, they, they wouldn't let me get a hold of the embassy. They used the middleman to try and tell me, oh, the embassy's thinks you're fine. Here's my information that uh my check-in and booking information and all that dot 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 and blot here's all of my property and belongings that i had on me when they brought me in to nuremberg jva uh basically the u.s marshals actually stole all of this stuff um I got a video coming very soon on the extradition process and the team of U.S. Marshals that extradited me. Uh, here's an instruction seat. Sheet. We were requested by you. The Federal Republic of Germany is obliged to inform the consular post of your state of origin of your arrest without delay pursuant to Article 36, Paragraph 1, Letter B of the Vienna Convention of Consular Relations. OK, so it goes in detail. That's my rights that I was supposed to have none of which I actually had. 
here's a paper that I'm supposed to be able to give to my um, consulate so I can have contact and people know that I'm alive. As you guys saw from the video, uh, I was thought to be dead. Um, the video that posted and was taken down, uh, my uh, kill capture video. And, uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's blank. I didn't get to inform anybody. And uh, here we go. This is a list of attorneys specializing in criminal law in the Munich consular district. Okay, they, the German prison uh, officials gave me this. Of course, they also gave me no outside contact. Germany is very good, very, very good at making it look like that they are a first world country and that they're giving people good treatment and, uh, and, and they're actually very, very good at, at giving some of the worst treatment. Uh, here's the letter I'm supposed to be able to write my, my, right, my uh, constitutional right to contact my consulate. As you can tell, it's, uh, it's a, it, it was just uh, never, I was never able to use it, no outside contact. Um, they gave me this through a, through a, through a, an intermediary, which, because they, like I said, didn't want me to let me contact enemy, anybody. Two American citizens arrested in Bavaria. The American Consulate General in Munich wishes to express its concern with your present predicament and offer its assistance. Da, 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 da. Okay, so another weird thing is, is Germany is Germany, but Bavaria is a state within Germany that is very loosely connected to the country of Germany, and it's very much like Utah. So let me give you another example about Utah. Utah, they have state laws that are specifically set up so they can uh, harass what they call Gentiles or uh, people who are not in their cult. And for example, if you're driving your car in the state of Utah, um, or even if you're not driving your car, I could, if you own a car and you're in the state of Utah, I could call the police and say, um, hey, this guy, say I don't like you. All I have to do is watch you get into your car, write down your license plate and call the police. Hey, this guy just road raged me. Uh, 911, hey, this guy just road raged me. And it's all Mormons just doing their exercising their power. It's not an actual uh, thing that you can control. It, it can, and, and just a complaint, literally, just a person calling and saying, reporting you, you're just reporting your vehicle. Now the police have the legal right in the state of Utah to arrest you. Yes, book you into jail, fingerprints, picture, arrest, 100% legal right to arrest you with zero proof, no nothing but a complaint from a Mormon person. So uh, yeah, it's that's a law on the books, pretty crazy. And uh, Bavaria is the German version of, uh, somebody just said Illuminati, Bavaria. They, you, you know, there's some rumors of stuff like that, but they do control uh, pretty much all of Europe from Bavaria. Um, BMW's there and all that stuff, you know, those who know, know the amount of power that they have there. I was actually there doing some multi-million dollar business deals one day. And then, you know, I, I had, I was with clients and you guys have seen, most of you have seen the live video I did from there that was also taken down. But, uh, I was one day doing those deals and I was actually crazy. I was at the convention center and my, my badge was shut down in the system and, and they had a, just a massive, uh, team of, of, People just following me and watching me and my all my moves. I had been seeing them and I'm just I told my clients and said, look, guys, something crazy is going to happen. And you separate myself from you guys a little bit and, uh, you know, um, prepare myself to be to, for what's going to happen. So I saw these guys following me and I talked to them and, and, and they uh, basically said, you know, hey, uh, I, I said, I know what you're doing. You're following me. Uh, you can tell me what's going on. We're in a public place. Are you going to do this here? And they said, uh, they said, you know, come with us to this back room and I, I'll tell the whole story on it. I got a, a video posting soon on that whole story, but they were uh, part of uh, what I believe to be the GSG-9 unit. Um, they were, you know, unmarked, uh, everything, just just one a special unit in Germany. And uh, But yeah, we'll all get more into that in another video. Here we go. Uh, this is a, um, it's in German, so I don't really know, but it's an official German document that I got from the court and the court said that, that um, because of the convention that exists between Germany and the United States, Germany 
has no power over a U.S. citizen in the United States if the U U.S. government asks Germany to, to hold them. So basically, I was being held in Germany at the request of the United States, and the United States was telling Germany that they had charges against me, which they didn't have any, any evidence of anything against me. And they were just kind of leaving me in limbo. Germany was saying, hey, you know, the United States is telling us to leave you in this cell with no outside contact. We have to do what the U.S. is saying. And then the United States is saying to my attorneys, multiple attorneys, everybody that was calling up there from all my fans and friends and everything at that time, because this was right after my videos that had just posted the kill capture and everything like that had gotten over a million views. Um, so people are, are asking about me. And the U.S. government is saying, we have, we're not holding him. We don't know where he is. And the German government is saying, we don't have him because they're telling me that they're holding me at the request of the U.S. They're telling everybody else that they don't have me. And then the United States is saying, we have no idea where he is. It's not in the U.S. And then after I was extradited illegally, they put out the fake news article saying I was arrested in Florida. Just absolutely crazy. But that's how easy it is now. And now we got all these sheep out there. I get people commenting on my posts every time. Every video I put up, somebody says, hey, this guy's got a, a warrant out. Hey, you've got a warrant. Hey, you're on the run. Hey, this. Hey, that. And, you know, it's just it's it's literally that easy. And people are like, hey. Uh, hey. Uh, you're you know, you were arrested in Florida. You're full of shit. Well. Here we go, man. I'm giving you guys every piece of document that you could possibly need to prove that I'm sitting here telling the truth and the U.S. government's lying to you. But pull your head out of your butt and and think for a second. You know, one of the crazy things is the United States, United States citizens. You can watch all these guys that go around interviewing people and, and it's just so sad. Nobody knows anything about our country. And it's so sad how stupid the um, the the average American is. And I hate this. It hurts me. It pains my soul to say that one of the biggest things that I'm trying to do through bone tactical is educating people. You can walk anywhere around this third world country that I'm in right now and ask any person that doesn't have a TV or shoes on their feet living in the, in the mountains. And you can say, Hey, is your government corrupt? And they'll say, hell yeah. Glad I can see that my government's corrupt. Of course they are. And you know, you walk around and ask an American citizen and you say, hey, is your government corrupt? No, my government's not corrupt. I'm an American. We don't do corruption here in the United States. I mean, come on, guys. Have just a little bit of common sense. The United States government right now is overly powerful. We've gotten away from everything that we've started the country with a small but effective government. And now they've just got so much power and they're the kings of corruption. They have they have so they're so corrupt that they can convince the people that they're not. I mean, come on, guys, come on. If if we if we're gonna make America great again, <laughs> we're gonna have to have some concept of reality first before we can have change. Okay. Um. Thanks, Slayer. I really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate that. Um. Uh, I don't, I can't promise that I'll be safe, but I'll be deadly. It's worked for me so far. I don't know exactly what this is. This is a. Uh, uh, this is, I think, proof of my extradition in German. Um, I really actually don't know. This is proof that they that the German uh, special police turned me over to a team of U.S. Marshals. So here it is again. And they stole everything. The U.S. Marshals stole all my stuff. All my money, everything, just ridiculous. No, there's no checks and balances over that. I'm, it's cr it's a crazy story, the story of the extradition. And that video is posting. Um, I, I don't usually say dates of when stuff's posting, but I'm fairly sure it's within the next month. But it's 100% this year. Uh, I don't have – I've got a lot of videos on auto posts every Saturday for the rest of the year. A, a pretty awesome, crazy videos on auto posts. And then – um, several videos throughout the week, usually Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, and sometimes Sunday. I've got videos posting all for the rest of the year. Um, I'm going to go back and read these comments, guys, as soon as I go through all this, uh, all these documents. Here's another court decree, a uh, court document. This is a uh, translated, I think this is a translated to English version of the, of the actual, uh, all of the German paperwork that's here. Um, Stamped and sealed by the higher court. All right, guys. 
I mean, this is just, and you can see the date here, February 27th, 2018. Can you see that? Where is it? February 27th, 2018. That's, these are the same days that, that fake news, if you Google Gregory Isaac Tambone, that fake news says uh, that, that I was arrested in, in Florida for made up charges. Okay. So guys, please. And they were, they were holding me in German prison on charges of it's Wilde, Wilde fishing or something like that. White fishing in English, the direct translation is white fishing. And I was being held in a German prison illegally. The charge against me was fishing without a license. Okay, guys, I didn't do it. Obviously didn't do any fishing when I was over there, but just crazy that this stuff can happen. Um, here's more, uh, more papers. And here is the document that is just pretty much, uh, pretty much undeniable right here, guys. I mean, this is, this is my arrest record with the picture and the date and everything right here, man. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. There it is, guys. Pretty much ends the argument right there. Um, pretty, pretty crappy time in my life. I'm rebuilding right now. Uh, I, every time I make a video, I do a shameless plug for one of my things. I want to show you guys the new neck knives. I don't know if you can see this or not. Check this crap out. Watch this. Watch this. That's fast, guys. That's faster than anybody can draw and fire a firearm right there. Okay? That's less than a second draw speed, and it's deadly sharp. These are in stock and shipping. I have like three of these on the website. EDC Kank. Okay? Fits in this awesome holster. And this is the other thing that was given to me in German prison, my rosary by the priest there. And I have to say, guys, I got to thank the man upstairs for this. It's uh, what the, the life that I've lived and the things I've done are not humanly possible. And it's not because I'm some kind of a superhuman. Um, although uh, I have been called the real life Deadpool, I'm not invincible. Uh, sometimes I wish I was most of the time. I wish I wasn't. I'm, I'm glad that I'm human. And, and I have to thank the man upstairs. Uh, God, uh, got me through this and, and I'm, I'm a sinner and I struggle every day, but, uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus saved my soul, uh, as cliche as that may sound. And, uh, and, and, and brought me through, uh, trying to be, uh, killed by, by my own government for, for taken out. And, and I survived all of it. And, you know, obviously you guys know, uh, the info of the, uh, criminal organizations who have also had a price on my head for a lot of years and more on that, more videos on that as well. Uh, I'm going to talk about, um, some of the violent encounters I've had. I'm going to talk about that. The, the stuff that I've, um, uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to talk about, uh, some of the things that the statute of limitations has ran out on. I'm going to talk about some of the people that I've, um, had violent altercations with, um, in my line of, in my primary line of work or, or, um, not, I'm going to talk about the, the, the guy I shot in Florida in 2005 and, um, that whole situation and, and what happened there. I've got a video auto posting on that. So any of you guys that are interested in any of this stuff, just let me know. And, uh, and I will, I'll share anything that I can share. Comment below. I'm going to go through these comments right now and, uh, see, okay. Audio is good. Uh, where, so questions and comments right now, guys, where do I'm doing a video on where to hide from an Interpol red notice. I'm starting a series on my two years escaping and evading, um, the U S government and as well as, uh, as well as criminal organizations. So that's going to be awesome. Black site. I can't sp currently speak on where I'm at right now. If you trace my, uh, 
IP address, it'll probably ping you all over the world. So good luck. Um, hey, James, how you doing? Oklahoma in the house. What's going on, mi amigo? Que onda, hermanito? Hermanito. What's up? What's up, B. Burns? Robert, good to see you checking in, bud. Thank you. I always appreciate your feedback. Industry, uh, no, uh, fellow industry professional. Hi from Brazil. Bom dia. Robert, this, yes. That's it. Yeah, if you Google my name, it'll, the fake news is all that comes up, guys. Hey, I challenge you guys, if any of you guys are real fans and real followers, send an email to this newspaper. Call this these guys at this newspaper and ask them, hey, why do you guys have false news that's that's been proved false? Why is it still up? Why why would the guy that you printed this info on call you? And then why would you still uh, not take the info down? Okay, so and it's funny that it's the first thing that comes up when you Google my name, even though I've got all kinds of other stuff out there. Not really funny, but uh, interesting. Hey, how you doing? John Rubin in Texas. You're welcome. Thank you for participating. Yep, the case number is stated as 0000. So it's a fake case number and says I was booked in the Manatee County Jail. It's just fake news, man. Why do they, you know, how is that, how can they continue to publish that? Sound like I'm from Michigan. I'm from Florida. Be careful, Bone. I barely found out about your channel, but it's badass. Thank you, buddy. Hello from Arizona. Eyes wide open. Thank you, man. Arizona is beautiful. Home base is Tampa, but I am a Virginia farm boy. Robert, Tampa's nice, man. I'd, I'd, I'd like to get back to Tampa. I'll uh, I'll be back in the States for too long. I've just got some business overseas right now. Crazy, man. Then it's, it's Yeah, Nazi America. When Germany is less Nazi than America, you know you're, you've got problems. Did you serve in the army? No, I did not serve in the army. The charges also state out of county warrant, felony, capital felony battery. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's uh, there's everything you see about me is conflicting. So that's the first dead giveaway that it's not that something's some of it's at least is not true. Luckily, it wasn't. Uh, Polish German prisons. Well, actually, the. Polish prisons and, and a lot of the prisons that are in the fall of the Soviet Union around Eastern Europe and stuff like that, they're a lot easier to deal with because you can just kind of like pay your way out of anything or, or, you know, buy a nice room or anything like that. German prison, there was kind of a, well, especially when you were the highest risk guy in the whole prison, there's uh, not really any, uh, and you're in a high security prison, there's not really any, uh, there's no favors and there's no chance to pay your way out of anything. My money was just straight up stolen. And I had a, a traveler's money belt on with a bunch of cash in it that the U.S. Marshals stole too. So, Yeah, I see military service and a shooting charge from Florida. Yeah, the, uh, the shooting charge from Florida is real. The military service, there's a bunch of different things about uh, that you'll read about me with military service online and none of that's true. I, uh, I did the stuff that I did was um, not none of the actual work that I did was ever published. It was all uh, there's the good period of my early life. You can't find anything about me. It's like I didn't exist. So writing a book that I'll go into detail about that. Um, but uh, but yeah, no, no, no traditional military service uh, or military service of any any sort. It, it looks like when you look at my name online, you can find some stuff that's just I don't know, people, I don't know, I really don't understand the full process of how some people are able to get the information with as many views as, as all of it has, but um, uh, obviously a, a paid off fake news uh, newspaper would be, it's uh, easy to understand why they have that. I escaped from America and been living in Reynosa, Mexico. Mexico. Reynosa is rough, man. I've been there. Do not like Reynosa. And occasionally go back to the States, but I feel more free here. Yeah, I can definitely get that, Reynosa. You must have some good contacts to be able to go around in, in Reynosa. They'll pick you up. Uh, the cartels back when I was there would pick you up just for having a different accent, even if you spoke really good Spanish. They didn't recognize your accent as being a local. 
if you need work, I've got a couple of contracts in CV. What is makes? Yeah, man, I would see who that war is. I'd work there. Holler at me. Send me an email through the contact uh, section of my forum. I'm I'm up for anything. Where did they arrest you? What was the stress for them? The reason they said uh, technically white fishing, fishing without a license, and then they said they were. That's what my paperwork said. But they told me in person that I was being held for the United States. Uh, just held for them to come pick me up, but they just left me there for 48 days. I can't, a lot of my background I can't legally discuss because there's just, I obviously I'm not going to say anything that'll incriminate me or, or have the government chasing me again. So there's some things of my background I just can't discuss. Uh, so <laughs> that's, the book that will be published upon my death will will go into detail about that. Government in America is extremely corrupt. And it's quite it's quite obvious for us, but it's really sad that the average American citizen doesn't understand the, the corruption of the government. Godspeed. Thanks again, Slayer. Appreciate you, man. Uh, I went up to the two of the German Special Forces guys and, and, and later on they put me in a Mercedes and, and for transport and all this stuff. And, and uh, they were like, oh, this is our worst car. I mean, they were joking around with me. They were like, man, we're so sorry. We're just we're just holding you at the request of the U.S. It's, you got no problems with us. And I was like, oh, shit. I, I, take me, I, said, I was just trying to do everything I could do to get back to the U.S., man. And if, if I had an accuser to face my accuser, but to this day, to this day, I have not been able to legally face my accuser. They've just been sweeping all this under the rug. And I'm going to talk more about that as well. But to this day, I have not been able to face an accuser. And I've lost hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. If you include the money that I was working on making when I was there in Germany, millions and millions of dollars I've lost. I lost. They took everything from me. Illegal raids. Um, Ill, her, harassing my friends and family in the States, everything without a warrant, or if there was a warrant, it was an illegal warrant, no evidence against me whatsoever, zero evidence against me of any legal warrant, no evidence against me whatsoever, zero evidence against me of any of any charges at all. Um, right now I'm supposedly free and clear, but, uh, even after all this, even after I cleared my name, U S marshals picked me up at the airport again, illegally. And I had to have, uh, my attorneys calling judges and all this stuff to get me released from the airport uh, holding cell again after all this. So it's just, there's just no checks and balances. They can do whatever they want. Yes. The knife uh, is pretty awesome. Fractal and uh, bone crusher is a good name for weapons, but I would be scared to try a bone crusher ballistics helmet. Huh? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Pissed off somebody where somewhere high up, they shouldn't have the right to do. They don't have the right to do that. It's a, it constitutionally, they do not have the right to do anything they did, and they should have to answer for it, but they don't. What's up, Omerta? What cartel was hunting you down? I've got a video posting discussing that. It's none of the cartels that you've ever heard of. It's not any crazy huge cartel, or I wouldn't even be able to post these YouTube videos. The uh, I've got a video posting on that coming soon. The actual name of the cartel is IBC Island Boys Cartel, but um, it's a, it's a small cartel out of Florida, just a bunch of crap thugs that uh, thought they could take me out twice, and uh, and both times I got the better of them, and I'm still here. So. And there's still money on my head, but I don't think anybody's coming to co collect because the last two guys didn't fare so well. Um, hey, homie, what's up, John? More of our detail work videos, please. Yep, I'm on it. I enjoy all the memories of Central America. The thing is, is some I can only do so much about actual like security contract work because it's still that's still a gray area industry. So there's just some stuff that I just can't post on that. But I'll do reenactments and stuff. I don't know if you guys saw my kidnap rescue reenact reenactment. Like I couldn't actually go and rescue a. a a, a, somebody from a kidnapping situation because first of all that's not how it would go down those of you that know no there it wouldn't just be a, a role playing it would probably it would it'd be a lot different it is a lot different but um 
so I, you know, like stuff can't ever be get out there information because even if I, even if I'm doing the right thing, it may not be the right, it may not be something, maybe something that would get, have me back in prison. Let me just prove that. One. So as far as uh, certain videos go, uh, I'll be doing some reenactment videos again, probably here soon um, and some teaching videos, but I'm, I'm never going to be able to go around wearing a GoPro doing crazy stuff. So good day, Greg. Good day, Ricky. Who did you work for in the U.S. government? I never said that I worked for the U.S. government, Nicholas. So please don't um, put words in my mouth. And uh, and like I said, that's somewhere that's something that I'm not going to ever discuss. Uh, hey there. Hey, Manny. Been living in Reynosa, Mexico. Yeah. Past three years, hopefully. Los Zetas no. Los Zetas, Los Zetas no. I was in, uh, man, crazy story with Los Zetas. I was in uh, Coban, Guatemala. And there was, uh, it was when um, the original uh, local boss who was working with Los Zetas, uh, his name was El Tigre, and he was working with Los Zetas. Um, and he, he, he got arrested and, and in the local jail in Guatemala, in Coban, and he went to, he went to, he went to the jail and he, you know, he had, he was having barbecues and, and prostitutes and, you know, it was like he wasn't in jail. One day uh, he was talking to the local mayor or something on his cell phone in jail and the guy pissed him off and he went out, paid the guard, went outside, got on his motorcycle, rode up, walked into the courthouse, shot the local mayor in the face, killed him, went back to his jail cell. Well, eventually the U.S. government got involved and extradited. So there's a big power struggle in Coban. Guatemala. And uh, during that power struggle, uh, El Chapo Guzman uh, was claiming terrain that used to belong to Los Zetas and they were not working. They were enemies. Uh, and basically, um, one of the local fincas, a uh, big, really big ranch area, uh, was taken over by El Chapo uh, or, or the, the owner of the property agreed to work with El Chapo. And Zeta Doscientos, one of the Zeta crime bosses, Los Zetas, his name is, he was known as Zeta Doscientos. He's now in a U.S. prison. Um, he went out there with a bunch of his guys, rounded up everybody on the finca. I believe it was like 50 people. I don't remember now, but there was a bunch of people. He cut off all their arms and legs and heads with, uh, with a chainsaw and they drank beers and played music ranchera and had a big party and cut off everybody's arms and legs and heads and then they they painted they used the arms the people's arms to paint a message on the sides of the uh in blood on the side of the building and that was uh as you can imagine pretty crazy so yeah don't mess with losetas <laughs> that's what uh that's the point they got across and then uh they did some really bad stuff to some people that they shouldn't have done some bad stuff to. And then they were all killed, all the ones that were left in Colón. So right now, uh, there's no more Zetas in Colón. So it always changes, man. Am I allowed in the U.S.? Yes. But I actually, so I'm 100% legally allowed in the U.S. Last time I was traveling, I was traveling through the U.S. I've got videos on here going all over the U.S. And uh, they just, some they still harass me. The U.S. government still harasses me arrest me illegally they did it again so and so it just just sucks saludos desde Chaluteca cuídate gracias señor Daniel Jose Daniel Urbina gracias hermanito saludos uh, un hondureño are you allowed in the US yes boom be stay safe keep your eyes open and one in the chamber yeah buddy I will Bo thank you sir why were you, were you trying to disappear? Uh, I had a video, I think, posting today. And I, oh, guys, the video that just posted of one year in my life, that's going to post again today with a better uh, format that will fit on your cell phone screens because the other video, actually, the video quality sucked on the other one. So it's posting again. But watch that video. Um, but uh, I think this is this video tells enough in and of itself of why I disappeared, though, uh, I would think. Would you be willing to make a video about your political and religious beliefs and how they impact your line of work? Man, I, pretty much every video I, I do discusses my uh, religious and political beliefs. Where do you get all those chicks from? LOL, the perks of being a badass, I guess. 
Um, I don't, I mean, any, any girls that are friends of mine that I don't necessarily have them. I just have some friends that are girls. Uh, how do you, have you got shot? Uh, yes, I have. Um, yes, I have. Tips for picking up Latinas. Uh, best pickup line ever, que pelo perra. No, I'm just kidding. Don't say that. Uh, no problem. Thank you, Slayer. Thanks again. Any recommendations on boots? I like boots and sneakers. Man, uh, I like boots a lot, too. I just I like them too much. I got too many boots. So what charges do you face and why? I do not face any charges and I have never faced any legal charges, but I've, there's a ton of false uh, information out there about me, but I don't face any charges and, uh, and I've been illegally arrested and they've just, they put whatever in Germany, it was fishing without a license that I was uh, an Interpol most wanted, um, one of the most wanted people in the world for a day and uh, not for a day, for the day I was arrested for a while. I was on Interpol red notice and all that. And uh, most wanted man, one of the most wanted men in the world. And when I got booked into prison, they told me it was for white fishing, fishing without a license. Just crazy what the, the power the government has. I, uh, they falsified all kinds of stuff against me. Hey man, wanted to buy an EDC neck knife, but it's banned to import knives in the UK. Not sure how I can buy one or I've shipped them to the UK before. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's, it has, it's been a while. It's been, about a year, I guess. Say hi to Mr. A and Becca. <laughs> um, if you have a shipping question, uh, email lt at bonetactical.com. That's the individual that handles all of my shipping. LT handles all of my shipping. LT at bonetactical.com. That video you recently posted the other day where you're shooting N16 and AK and N16 was made from cast because the receiver looked like it was casted. No, it was just, it was a uh, really, uh, I'm not sure. It was just, it was an M16 Colt Commando, whether they're cast or not, but it was just had the finish worn off from being so old and clean so many times. You got to keep everything really clean down here because of the humidity. Isn't the UK out of control with knife violence, even though they're banned? Yep. Heck, even your gear review stuff has been fun. EDC dumps and bag kits. I can't do those because OPSEC here. Yeah, I can imagine. But I love watching you do them. Thanks, man. Typos free. Just off detail. Hell yeah, buddy. Thanks again, Robert. I went through executive protection training. Do you have any tips on starting my own security company? Cody Daniel? Uh, not really, man. It's all about who you know, not what you know, in my opinion. That's really the, the best advice I can give. Um. And they just came in. First pop up in my, it's my man Greg's video. Yeah, buddy. Can you do some videos on home security or driving someone important? Yep, I can do that. Or other general tactic vid. Yep, I can do that. Hey, folks. North Korea checking in. Cool. What's your favorite weapon? Owned or past owned? Probably my neck knife, honestly. The EDC Kank, amazing. The new ones are freaking amazing. And uh, I got like three in stock and shipping. All right, guys, I'm about to sign off here. Any last minute questions? Uh, I'll take any last minute questions that you have. What's your favorite uh, firearm to carry while on the job? I don't have a favorite. I can use any, any weapon, and I am a weapon. Kind of gets old to say. and Sounds cliche, but it's true. What's your favorite firearm carry? Hey man, good to see you. Well, thank you. I am I'm making it. I'm, uh, I'm making it. I'm hanging uh, in there. Rebuilding phase of my life. Uh, have you ever considered yourself to live in North Korea? No, but uh, if you guys have any work for me, North Korea, let me know. Um, you got any exec protect? I'm always, I'm ready. And uh, uh, I'll come down and work. You guys need some Anything you need, I got gotcha. you. Yo, I'm at the range. I'm the range master of the shooting range. Love your vids. Thanks, buddy. Ghost Greens. Hell yeah. Be safe, bro. Uh, I will. Can't make any promises, but I'll be deadly. Can you make a video how to secure a safe house? Um, I can't go into like a super whole bunch of detail about my safe houses, but I just I did just put up a video about the uh, security on a safe house, security cameras. And so I did, I gave some other tips in there as well. So check that out. 
I just can't necessarily um, show all my locations. But, oh, Wednesday I have a video posting. Wednesday of a safe house that I used to use that lasted me for two years, and now I don't need the location as a safe house anymore. And it's probably one of the best safe houses I've ever seen. That's posting Wednesday. Uh, I believe Wednesday. Don't quote me, but it's posting very soon. It's top secret off-grid uh, Honduras um, ranch house, safe house, something like that. Has Jalisco new generation cartel been present in your AO? No, I have not seen. Um, is everything's really is refracted the right word here? Everything's uh, it's difficult here. The Marsa uh, La Trucha y Calle 18 is the um, the big ones here. Um, the cartels don't have as much of an influence as you'd think. It's the it's the Maras or gangs. MS13 and 18th Street gang have the biggest impact here. Would you ever do PSD in Afghanistan? I, I'd do anything anywhere. I don't know why I wouldn't. Um, it'd be a it'd be a probably a good nice change of better equipment. A little uh, <laughs> a little definitely a different environment than what I'm used to working for right now with or what I have been for the last two years. But sure, why the hell not? I I don't know what's your job. Uh, security, private security, North Korea. Private security. How do you acquire firearms in the country that have been that have banned guns? How do you acquire? You have to have special political permission from somebody in the in the government. Have you operated in Michoacan? No, 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 no. I have not. Nope. Have you ever? Ha, you have any GTFO bags or bug out bags for sale? I don't, but that's something I'll look into, and I will continue. I will look into. Yeah. How long it takes to train a person? Um, a lifetime. What's your opinion on the French Foreign Legion? I think they used to be badasses at one point in time, but uh, all of the feedback that I've gotten from guys that have worked with them um, recently, very recently, or are working with them in the Middle East, have given bad reports. So, but I, I personally, I've not worked with current French Foreign Legion guys, but they used to be badasses. So. And, you know, it's just like any group of military. Military doesn't make you a badass. Specialized training helps and experience is what makes you a badass. So military means nothing. Can you show the vest in the background? I like it. It's uh, it's uh, I have a video up on it on here. Snake Eater Tactical dot com. It is amazing. End day is an entire an entirely different environment, man. It's just crazy. Yep. I can imagine it's not only hot as balls, but you can't tell the good guys from the bad guys. You can't, you can't tell the good guys from the bad guys here either, but that's everywhere. That what about the title German prison talked all about that. That's what the whole video is about. So make sure you go back and watch the beginning of the video. I was a political prisoner for two years, in North Korea. So no longer a political prisoner, but I I'll still come work security for you. Anybody over there, if you can afford me, I'm the best in the world. Any YouTube channels you want to promote? I don't know any other YouTube channels. Have you seen the triple aught design Meridian case? I have not. What's the craziest situation you've been in? How'd you get out? Oh, man. Ooh. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. I, I'll do videos on crazy situations I've been in, but craziest. I'm going to do a video on the, uh, when I was the, I went to jail at 18 because that, that cartel I told you about tried to take me out and I survived and had to shoot a guy in the process. And then when I was in jail again, they put me on a, on a unit with, uh, that was ran by that cartel. And then they tried a bunch of guys came in my cell and tried to kill me. And, um, it got really bloody and really nasty. And, uh, and that was very crazy, very crazy situation. I was completely covered from head to toe, soaked in another man's blood. So, um, Well, that was a different occasion, actually. There's two, those two for kind of combining everything together there. But yeah, that was the second charge you can see on my record. Uh, some they, they tried to, the same cartel tried to take me out again when I was in jail, and uh, and I had to fight to survive. So. Memories. Do you employ other contractors? I employ other people. I, um, if you call, we if you call yourself a contractor, or if I call myself a contractor, then I guess yes, I employ other contractors. Just, what's the craziest situation? Are you still wanted by the USA? No, I am not. I'm just still 
harassed by the USA. What's the best 4x4 you recommend? And I have the best 4x4 Land Cruiser. Hilux is the second best. We got one of those too. I'm putting a video up on it soon. Um, all right, guys, I'm signing out. Uh, any last minute questions? Any last minute questions? Signing out. All right. See ya. Phone out. I'm from Florida. I see that. Oh, man. All these coming through. Uh, do you have your private pilot's license? I have my Patty. I don't have my private pilot's license. And would helicopter pilot make good money? No, there's not enough helicopters here. Hi, Chris Guzman. People don't pay for stuff like that either. I mean, decent money, but not crazy money. Peace out. See ya. How about the, 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 the 45 new vlog shoot? Um, phone out.